Race six, the Illinois State Fair Colt Stakes for trotting fillies and mares age four and up. Win, play, show, exact a trifecta wagering. Here are the starters. Number one, Vivacious Victory, owned by Bill Gross of Louisville, trained and driven by Cindy Anderson. Number two is Arrow Dan Dot, owned by Mary Schrage of Trenton, Illinois, trained by Morris Rockers, Dave McGee in the bike. Number three, Brent Spilly, is owned by Gene Limkeman of Mount Sterling, trained by Harold Limkeman, Mike Brink in the bike. Number four is Never Jamie Sue, owned by Don McCoy of Gilson, trained by Mitch Erickson, Dean McGee, the driver. Number five is Heather Doreen, owned by Sam and Katie Duncan's Duncan Foundry and Machine Works Incorporated of Alton, trained by John Cisna. Tim Bredberg is up. Six, Courtney D., least trained and driven by David Avenetti of Broadlands. Number seven, Jody's Pride, is owned by Michael Conti of Park Ridge, trained by Duncan Price, Steve Searle, the driver. Number eight, Queen Jackie, is owned by Enloe Management Incorporated of Kevill, Kentucky, trained by Jason Enloe, the driver is Andy Miller. And number nine, Chansey's Willa, owned by Jody Peacock of Cantrell, Illinois, by Chansey Akers of Kenosha, Wisconsin, trained by Jody Peacock, the driver is Rick Schrock. We'll see if Cindy Anderson can join that list in a moment. Problems for Never Jamie Sue and for Brent Spilly, who are both off stride. Here they come for race six. Jody's Pride is on a break. The rest are off and trotting. There goes Courtney D for the lead. Heather Doreen gets away second. Arrow Dan Dodd is third. Vivacious Victory comes out racing in the fourth spot as they enter the first turn. Vivacious Victory quickly settles down toward the rail. They're being led by Arrow Dan Dot by only a head. And there goes Heather Doreen moving up around her to take the lead before the quarter. Heather Doreen is on top by a length. Arrow Dan Dot is second. Vivacious Victory third. Courtney D in good position fourth. Two and a half lengths back to Queen Jackie and fifth 28 and one was the time for the opening quarter another three lengths back to Chansey's Willa and here comes Vivacious Victory off the rail Vivacious Victory moving up from third to second to challenge for the lead Heather Doreen leads it by a neck now Vivacious Victory takes over before the halfway points Errol Dan Dot is racing third Courtney D is fourth three more lengths to Queen Jackie another three to Chansey's Willa a gap of four more to never Jamie Sue as they race by the half Further back, it is Jody's Pride and then Brent's Philly who trails the field. The half in 56 and 1. Vivacious Victory has a two length lead at the entry to the far turn. Heather Doreen is second by a length and a half. Arrow Dan Dodd is third. Courtney D is fourth and still five lengths off the lead. Then Queen Jackie, three more lengths back to Chansey's Willa. Approaching the three quarter. Vivacious Victory leads it by two lengths. Heather Doreen is second by three and a half. Courtney D starts to roll from third. Up around the outside of Arrow Dan Dot. Then Queen Jackie, who's six lengths off the lead, but also beginning to move. Final quarter mile, three quarters and 126. Vivacious Victory, a two length lead, eighth of a mile to come. Heather Doreen second. Courtney D is third. And then Queen Jackie. Vivacious Victory leads it a length and a half. Courtney D is coming. Courtney D charging after Vivacious Victory. Cindy Anderson, David Avenetti, both trying for a first state fair championship Avenetti wins it Courtney D gets there by a length vivacious victory second close for third either Heather Doreen or Queen Jackie 155 and four the greatest victory of David Avenetti's career he has finally grabbed that elusive state fair Colt Stakes championship Illinois County Fair folks what a moment this is. This young man has been coming to the Illinois State Fair with his father, Earl Avenetti Sr., for many, many years. For the first time ever, David Avenetti trains and drives a State Fair Colt Stakes champion. David, you've earned it. Congratulations. Courtney D., David Avenetti. <laughs> Director Hampton, Jenny Maurer, presenting the trophy now. Sam Glossop's grandson, Clint Glossop from Alabama, congratulating his friend David Avenetti, David Spokes, Earl and Elizabeth are there, his wife, Karen, children, big family, winter circle photo. In that photo for third, by the way, the five, Heather Doreen was third to complete the trifecta, 615 on the try. I'll try to grab a word with David Avenetti next. David, come on over here. David is a native of Chrisman, Illinois, in Edgar County. He's a graduate of Chrisman High School. He attended college at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. David, do you remember the first time you came to the Illinois State Fair? Yes, I do. We had a little colt uh, 
by the name of B.A. King. My dad brought him here and won the two-year-old top line pace. Your first ever State Fair champion in the State Fair Colt Stakes. Take us home. What was that last quarter mile like? Well, uh, my dad always been always preaches, be patient up here, uh, wait for your turn. And uh, coming off that turn, the mare is real strong in the turn. She can really trot the turn. So I, I wanted to make sure I moved her about halfway around the turn, get as close as I could and see what we can get down the stretch. And uh, she had a nice little crook in her tail all the way down the stretch because she was on fire. She really had a lot of trot today. It was a, a beautiful performance by that mayor, Courtney D. It was a great drive, David. Congratulations, you have trained and driven a state fair champion. Thank you, Kurt. David Avenetti, he's our winner.